It's a Wednesday, kind of mid-morning, about 9.30. We've got weather coming in, a good-looking weather system, but before all the hype gets going, I want to talk about what's happening before the rain gets here and what happens after the rain. What happens before is nothing. We were pretty dry. We had a few sprinkles last night, up to a hundredth of an inch, two hundredths of an inch um, as of Tuesday night. Here we are Wednesday morning, sun is out, all day's nice. Weather system gets here Thursday or Wednesday night, tonight, into Thursday morning, into Thursday afternoon. It kind of lingers a little bit. But the big hit is overnight tonight into Thursday midday. After that, scattered showers. So the sweet spot, Wednesday night to Thursday, is the bulk of this. So in terms of concerns for hydro issues, like there's flood watches, there's wind advisors, everything's up. It's all up. But the thing to know, California, Northern California especially, we can manage as much rain as is going to come. And we're going to get, some areas in the Marin County could get a couple inches, three inches, maybe four inches. I've seen as much as like eight inches, which is like, I guess. But I, 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 when all said and done, Marin County, I'll bet Mount Tam ends up with three inches of rain. San Francisco ends up with an inch and a half, which these are strong totals. And the rainfall rates will be pretty aggressive but not for a long duration. So don't panic. Just, <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to be voice of reason because again, with the way information travels now, of course, it's easy to get, uh, or you want to get, people want to get, you know, you want to get a lot of attention by saying atmospheric river and blah, all the, all the buzzwords. This is a storm on a scale of one to 10. It is a solid eight. Awesome. It's winter. If it wasn't, you know what, if there wasn't this storm staring us down, I'd be going, God, well, it'd be nice to get some rain. We need some rain. It's almost March, right? It's just, it's that whole thing. Okay, so enough of the preaching. Again, Wednesday night to Thursday. Here is this, and I think we got one. This is uh, Mount Shasta. I think we got ourselves a third morning in a row of this. This is live. Well, not live, but this is starting at sunset this morning and taking us forward. You see that fog forming in the low, the cold air sinks, right? Forms in those inland bay val or inland valleys. Isn't that beautiful? And you see the high clouds coming in overhead. That's indicative of a weather system offshore. So Mount Shasta is going to get a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of snow. Snow levels are going to be up there. Are going to be around 4,800 feet, 5,000 feet. Mount Shasta, the town, will get some snow. Uh, if you've never been to Mount Shasta City, it's wonderful. McLeod's awesome. All those there, Dunsmere, all that, that whole area. I go up there quite a bit. Um, just as a kid, and still I go up there fishing all the time. Uh, so anyway, that's how it looked this morning. This is how it looks right now. National Weather Service out of Monterey saying, hey, look, we got, we've had a bunch of rain, so we're going to issue a flood watch. These All of those green areas are flood watches. That just means, hey, we're going to get two and a half, three inches of rain in Marin County. There's going to be standing water, blah, blah, blah. It's, it, is, it, it is what it is. And again, it's a good storm. I'm, uh, Uncle Bill's telling you, it's going to be a good storm, um, but it's not the end of the world. It's just going to be a good storm. Wind advisories and wind watches. The winds will be pretty aggressive. I think that's, it's going to be a rain and wind event in terms of headlines and so in snow too up in the mountains, but the wind's going to blow. It's going to blow 40, 50 miles an hour. That's when stuff starts to happen. Trees, limbs, things like that. This is all overnight tonight into Thursday morning, the big stuff. Now there'll be thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Um, and maybe even a funnel cloud, truthfully, there's enough instability here, but that's all, that's more gee whiz, awesome, fun to watch weather. Hopefully, I don't suspect anything horrible is going to happen from a severe thunderstorm uh, other than just a bunch of hail and heavy rain. Uh, winter storm warning on the west slope of the Sierra Nevada. They are going to get shellacked. I would be not surprised at all if tomorrow morning we get, I'm sitting here talking to you and 50 and 80 are closed, just because it's going to be that kind of a, you know, above 5,000 feet snow levels, right at 5,000 feet. So Blue Canyon, maybe Colfax, a lot of snow. Uh, we go south and they've had a bunch of rain, which is right. If they hadn't, we'd be bumming, right? So they've had, they have flood watches up for this weather system. And truthfully, the concerns for them is are, are the fire zones, not truthfully, but, and also that they're not set up for, they, you guys in LA, aren't really set up for drainage like we are. So when I say four inches of rain in the Mount Tam watershed, everybody in Marin goes, okay, got it, check. And they go about their day, go get their, their latte or whatever. Down in LA, when I say two inches of rain in 24 hours, 
You're like, what? Because that's a lot of rain. That's going to cause issues. It's going to cause issues in the fire zones, but it will cause just issues because there are not many drainages. There are drainages, but they're, they're concrete, right? Like the LA River. That's a, the great example. Um, you, Northern California has a lot of, of, of runoff potential. So you know that already. Here is this picture, which I like. Um, I've been getting some comments and comments about, you know, it's hard to see the outlines of California. So um, it may be, maybe some of you guys, okay, so here's, here we are. Here is the weather system. Here is what is, a, it's an atmospheric river for sure, but it's broken up and we're going to get a frontal passage. So it's not traditional atmospheric river. When I say frontal passage, that's why we're going to get thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, potentially because of the, the clearing behind the front. It's going to swing through and potentially, and do what it does. It's gonna move, it should progress, get up in the mountains and unload. So it's more of an, it's an extra tropical weather system and it is pretty typical for this time of year, but it does have a lot of fuel and that is in the form of subtropical moisture or atmospheric river. I know, right? I'm gonna, pretty soon I'm gonna quit saying atmospheric river. We're just gonna talk about storms. Um, so here's California, and this is what goes, starts tonight, and it's gonna pass through. It's hard to really pick out from there. So let's go right to the model. Here is, uh, I got, I, somebody asked me yesterday, which I appreciated, um, it asked me about, uh, well, how come you, you just use the GFS? I think, and like right now I'm using the NAM. It just depends. I, most of it is for viewer clarity because it's hard to see these models, these raw models, which is what I'm showing you. This is all stuff right off the webs, right? And so it's like, it's hard to see the line, outline of the state. But I, I, I do these because I, I like the GFS. I, li I like the HRRR too. Now, but in terms of just doing this in the morning and broad brushing, because that's all I'm doing. I'm not getting super granular um, because I'm not so sure whether it is super granular yet. I think that's a mistake some people make. I think some uh, meteorologists, not the hardcore scientists, but some of us in the are like, oh, we can, this model is going to be right. And it's going to dial it right down to, I've never, I've never uh, subscribed to that way of thinking. I think it is a, there's the front, there's the wind. There's Mount Tam. There's uh, the gold, the Sam, the Richmond district. What's what's a system like this typically done in this area? Because it's it's the the models aren't that granular. What is it? Eight square miles or something on a grid size? Eight square miles is a lot. Eight square. It's something like eight. I can't. I always mess up the grid sizes. Okay. So anyway, so this is the North America model, and I put a circle around us and around Southern California, and here we are. This afternoon, you see the rain starting to move in. Here we are this afternoon. See, there's the rain. That's the beginning. This is late this afternoon. This is late tonight, early tomorrow morning. That is the hit. Okay. LA is even getting a little rain. And then you see the front, right? So frontal passage. So here is Thursday morning early. The morning commute is messy. And then here is, you see the back edge. There's Thursday mid-morning, and then Thursday around afternoon, and scattered showers continue into early Friday morning. You know what I noticed there? First of all, frontal passage. Secondly, as you look at the west slope of the Sierra Nevada, especially from South Lake Tahoe down into Mammoth, they are getting hammered. I would not be surprised if Mammoth picked up five feet of snow. There, I said it. Um, and then the thunderstorm potential after after the front passes through, that's tomorrow afternoon. So here's how this goes. So I just showed you a model that's done, that's really good. That's pretty granular. But by the time you watch this tonight at 10 o'clock, you're gonna get right, so, or nine o'clock or eight o'clock. This, this piece, this isn't live. So what I want to do is you see that, you saw what you saw were the earmarks. You saw a frontal system that was coming in late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Okay, so what usually happens with frontal systems that are have that kind of depth with a low, have that kind of pressure gradients, right? That's kind of what we're doing here. Um, so it's going to, I mean, the big takeaway is this isn't an atmospheric river fire hose. This is a frontal pass. That's what I'm trying to say. So by the time you get to this, the models are, have been run over and have been, um, have been, you know, have been updated. So, okay, back this up. This is accumulated rainfall. This is still the North America model. Here is tonight. And then here we go. There's the event right there. This is into Friday morning. 
and you can see, you know, a couple inches of rain. You see the bullseyes is what I would look at here. M Mammoth Mountain. Wow. Santa Cruz or uh, um, down towards um, Lompoc and Buellton and uh, San Luis Obispo, L.A., Santa. I mean, that's a that's a big deal. That's a lot of rain for these folks. So it's an inch and a half, two inches of rain. It's a lot of rain for Marin County. But what's up here? Oh, Eel River, Smith River. Russian River, right? These, this area knows how to drain. This area, Santa Cruz Mountains, knows how to drain. This area, not bad, up around Big Sur, it'll drain. But when you get south of Point Conception, not so much, not so much. So Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Here is a live picture of the Golden Gate Bridge, and you can see it's tight. You know, things are starting to happen. Clouds are moving in. It's going to be a increasing cloud day with showers developing late this afternoon into the early evening. Heavy rain overnight tonight into Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon, scattered showers and a chance of a thunder shower. There. Okay, Ocean Beach. I'm, I'm actually, I have the day off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to go surf because it looks fun. And then actually the waves, it gets giant on um, Friday, Saturday. It shows up tomorrow, but sorry, and it stays kind of big, but Friday, Saturday look really big, like 18, 20 foot. So today looks manageable. And then I'm going to come back. I'm probably going to do something tonight. So I'll update the models for you because it's kind of a, you know, it's a um, good, it's a good storm. I'm just saying. Okay. So here's Mavericks. This, I just wanted to show you this so you can see, okay, this is, oh, it's not playing live. There it is. Yeah. But I wanted you to see it live only because it um, just shows how, how much wave it takes for Mavericks. So like right now, Ocean Beach is five foot. Mavericks doesn't even show. Maybe there's a little lump right there. But by uh, the next 48 hours, next 24 hours, this bad boy is going to light up um, with some big surf. It, this big surf in Hawaii is what's coming our way. This is pipeline. This is back door. This is front door pipe. And there's a lot. Check out all the people out there. That's Remember I said don't paddle out of pipeline? Don't paddle out of pipeline. Just don't, especially on a day like today. I mean, that's everybody out there is all time very good surfer. Very good. They're not. They don't. They're not on a wave. Well, Jamie's probably on a wave storm, but not a lot of wave storms out there. Um, but look at the size of that, right? And that's that's pipe right there. The one, the right, and then the left would be back door. Um, but the swells up. It's going to stay up. Uh, for us, it starts tomorrow and stays up pretty much for a week. It bumps up and down, but it gets real big on Friday, Saturday. So there you go. That's the quick forecast. Or I, I was meant to be quick. <laughs> I'm going to go surf, and then I'm going to come back tonight, and I'm just going to do a quick model update. So if you want to look at them, and we'll look at a couple. We'll look at HRRR. We'll look at the NAM. We'll look at the Euro. We'll look at some models. But I just want you to get the idea that it is overnight tonight into Thursday at noon. And then there's scattered showers and stuff and thunderstorms and even funnel clouds, potentially. Um, but that's, um, that's about it. Okay, that's about it now, too. See you back here.